essentially a man of my stature is unsafe to try to ride in a kangaroo pouch. So long story short, we can't go to the zoo anymore. Let's talk Zelda. Tom and Lacey of Do You Nerd, we are still counting down some Zelda items to see if we have 1,000 items in our collection. And something we haven't talked about in quite a while, actually, are some of the games. Yes. I want to take a little easy and talk about some of the handheld games. I'm not much of a handheld gamer myself, but I do make an exception whenever it's there's Because he's got really big Zelda hands, ladies. That's right. Phantom Hourglass on the Nintendo DS. This was a very interesting game because the whole control scheme is centered around using the stylus and the touch screen, which seemed really weird for a Zelda game. <laughs> like everything you do, like everything. You do not move him around unless it's with the stylus. That's irritating. It's really weird, but they do throw in some like really great, unique mechanics into the okay. game at times. <laughs> One thing that got me for the longest time, you find a map and you're supposed to copy the map that you see to your map. And I didn't know how to do that. You know what you do? You take your DS and it's copied. <laughs> and it copies it from this. <laughs> Clever. So yeah, weird control scheme, but fun things like that. And honestly, when I played through it, the controls didn't bother me at all. I got used to it I really guess, yeah. quickly. And I had a lot of fun with this game. Best of all, when that game first came out, there was a little something from Nintendo. You could write off, send off for it, and you could get this bad boy right here. I love this. I do too. It's really pretty, actually. It is like a crystal quill stylus. So tiny. Thank you. <laughs> you know, all the stylus <laughs> things were. At least this one's a little more manageable in my hands. But I love how beautiful this thing looks. I love that it came in its own little, like, cut-out <laughs> foam and everything. It's got this wonderful presentation in the box. And it's such a cool and unique item to have. It's got a navy on the outside. For whenever you play Phantom Hourglass. You like to play with Zelda stuff, too. I do. I like my little Octoroks. I think they're adorable in the game, even though they really, really irritate me in the game. But they're, <laughs> look at their little faces. They're so cute. We got this Octorok that... Oh my gosh, I can't squeeze him anymore. <laughs> Poof, he pops out balls. This is really cute. We found this at GameStop. He comes with a bunch of little fuzzy balls and we like to pop them out, play with the cat occasionally, smack the cat with them. They're fun. This is a really yeah, cute really and clever cute. idea for Although a over the years it's hardened up. And so uh, I can't a little bit, I yeah. can't squeeze it anymore. Obviously the time he spent on the Zelda Shrine He has shelf. turned into a... He's, he's been, uh, you know, yeah, <laughs> doing some workout. Not gonna crush me, Link. <laughs> so, another game that was on the DS, but I've not even played this one yet. That would be Zelda Spirit Tracks. I'm not gonna lie, the first instance I heard of this game where you're racing around, I guess, Hyrule on a train? Choo -choo! I don't even remember now. <laughs> it seems. I remember going across and finding train tracks. Oh, well, yeah, you oh, know, like, everywhere. Like, like, whoops, tripped over a train so track. So who's There's on the wrong side of the tracks, there. Link or Zelda? Uh, I guess Zelda because she's dead. Oh. Yeah, nice job, Link. Please. me, princess. <laughs> that right there, that's, that's like the most I know about this game. I really want to sit down and give this a go someday. We will see if that actually <laughs> happens, but uh, it is a handheld game that I have not yet played. And I actually did get some fun things to go along with it because who does it? I need a down. I actually got some fun things to go along with it because who doesn't love a mystery capsule toy? Oh. At least in one of them, I got a little Link. Well, Link. Hello, and, Link. Uh, he doesn't quite have his ocarina that he normally carries. No, and he's got a pipe on. flute. Pan flute. So I guess he's really playing up that Peter Pan thing now. And then we have this dude. I have no idea who this guy is. He's got yeah, a really big arm. <laughs> big arm. Uh... Maybe it's lonely out there on the rails, and that's why the arm got so big. Oh, my. So, <laughs> I don't know who he is. 
capsule randomness. At least we got a link, and then we've got strong arm toys. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Well, moving on to my toys. I love squishy things. I am a fidgeter. I love dress things. So when they came out with these Zelda ones, I was super excited about these. The only thing that irritates me about these, the rupee and the heart, they put printed on, mind you, it's not a sticker, the barcode on one side and then the stupid logo on the other side. It's like, really? You couldn't at least put them all on one side or something? I agree. Because at least with the Triforce, it's on the bottom. The same thing with the shield. It's on the bottom. But otherwise, I have some fun squishies. And these were not mystery no, items. No, these were not mystery items. These were just in a bin that you could collect them all. I think there were these and Mario ones. Which is nice because yes. we did want to collect them all. We did. We got them all. We didn't have to play a bunch of rounds oh. of chance. I mean, I love my mystery stuff, but not when I'm trying to collect a set. And then, especially when they're like eight or nine dollars. But this was nice. So I love these. So yeah, some fun little stress relievers or uh, other things that you can throw for the cat to chase after if you've run out of <laughs> Octorok balls. Uh, we got some little tiny Zelda toys that I don't exactly know what they're part of. And then some handheld offerings. Guys, let us know in the comments, did you play the DS Zelda games? And we do still have a Nerdling clip that we're gonna toss in right, right, right? Right here. We're gonna put it right Gosh, I hope they don't cut me off within the mid -six. Hey, what is up, friends? I absolutely love the gauntlet that you've thrown down for the Zelda items. And I've been meaning to share a few of the items that I cherish that are Legend of Zelda themed. And I'm going to start off with something I'm sure you already have this. And I'm sure a lot of people out there have it because it is, in my opinion, the best 2D Legend of Zelda game that's out there and actually also my favorite Legend of Zelda game that ever exists, and that is, boom, Link to the Past. This is my first thing I want to share that's in my personal Legend of Zelda collection that I will continue to play at least once every single year. I can remember the very first time I ever beat this game, just having to sit back and realize that based upon everything I just played through, the awesome expert level dungeon design, the awesome amazing action RPG elements of it, and this overall being able to beat Ganon at the end and hold that Triforce above my head, uh, playing as Link, was just an amazing feeling. So this is my favorite Zelda game of all time, um, and I wanted to share that as number one. The number two, and I'm trying to find out where it is, it's right here, okay awesome, is this awesome uh, Defenders of the Triforce poster that I got from a um, escape room that my friends and I went to. Um, super cool, as you can see that we actually, it was a team of I think five of us, if I remember correctly, it was either five or six, and we had to successfully go through an escape room that was all Legend of Zelda themed, um, going through all different uh, you know, aspects of the gameplay, exciting things that were thematic to the Legend of Zelda franchise, and overall, it was just a ton of fun. I can say we came super close to escaping the escape room, but we didn't quite make it, but it only made us want to go back and try it again sometime. So uh, cheers to you guys for putting out this awesome kind of like uh, challenge and uh, hope to see you guys soon. Also, I uh, want to wish you guys a very happy holidays because I realize I'm doing this on Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas Eve, happy holidays, and thanks for putting out a great challenge. Peace out, you guys. Well, there's nothing wrong with that clip. It aged like fine wine, except for the <laughs> fact that if they're avid Zelda collectors like we are, they've probably already expanded. Oh, yeah. It. But totally anyway, by now. Leave some comments down below what you thought of their collection, what you think of our collection, and stay tuned for more counts to 1,000. I can't do all the, the zeros. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. I think Paul did take off with the Octorok. Rock. No. Paul! Because <laughs> I heard him playing around back there and oh, then he took man. off running. Dude! Come on! It's his now.